So how do you crowdfund something? Well, today we're going to talk about the four ingredients to a successful Kickstarter. Now I'm talking about Kickstarter, but this applies to Indiegogo and any of the other crowdfunding sites that might be out there. I came up with four ingredients that I think every successful Kickstarter needs. The first one is trust. Your fans have to trust you. If you just come out of the gate and no one knows who you are, why would they trust you? You might have a slick video and an imaginary idea that you want to pitch to them and prove to them that you can do it, but if they don't trust you, then how are you going to get them to give you money? And they're giving you money. They're trusting you with money to kind of create your project. So you have to have this trust between the fan and the creator. The way I built trust was putting my stuff online over the years, and I just gave away a lot of free content, and I started growing a tribe of people who trusted me. They were waiting to get my product, and they were willing to give me their money and trust me with their money because they knew I would deliver. A finished product. Now, this is what I suggest for people who have never done anything before on Kickstarter, who haven't really finished a comic before or whatever it is they're working on. It's good to have that finished product. There are exceptions to this, like if, again, someone has built that trust and has a huge fan base of people who've already learned to trust this person because they always deliver and they always have great products. You can request your fans to, to trust you and, and you will make something amazing that isn't finished. But for the first timers and people starting out, try to get your project finished or as close as you can. Third, you need to learn to sell. Now, this really probably discourages a lot of people because we don't want to be salesmen, but you need to be able to pitch your idea. You need to understand what pitches work, how to pitch, like an elevator pitch. You have to be able to practice pitching your product. And a great way to do this is going to conventions and just pitching to people one-on-one, -on -one. pitching to people that are coming up to your booth and saying, what's this about? Give me the one-liner. Learn to sell your product, though. Eventually, you'll be able to refine your pitch, refine the words on your Kickstarter to be exactly what it needs to be, refine the video to be exactly what it needs to be and nothing else. And you'll want to finish a video and show it to different people, friends and family and fans, before you launch your Kickstarter to just see what their opinion is. See if it even would be something they would want to buy based on what you have pitched to them. Four. Clarity, clarity, clarity. You really have to make your Kickstarters clear. Stupid clear. Simple, simple, stupid, simple clear. Like break out the crayons, make sure that your four-year-old can understand what it is you're pitching here. It has to be so clear that when someone who doesn't know who you are gives you a minute of their time, they can understand exactly what it is that they might spend their money on. Clarity, clarity, clarity. And let me know in the comments below if you guys think there are some other ingredients to a successful Kickstarter campaign. In the next video, I'll talk about Kickstarter strategies. I've composed a list of different strategies I've used in the past. Again, this is all from my personal experience. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. I have also some comics that I made. Join my mailing list. Links are below. And thank you for watching.